I'm up on the roof and I'm installing a fan cover, a uh, vent cover, a Dometic, for my fantastic fans on my 2022 Tiffin Open Road Allegro 36 UA. That's a mouthful. This manual that comes with it, the devices are right there with the back grill and the hardware kit. So the first thing, because it rained last night, I am going to get all the water and gunk from all around this channel here. Um, I will have to cut some of this silicone off, so I want it to be clean and I want it to be dry. All right, the area is clean enough to start working on. As you can see, the water is gone. Um, I will use rubbing alcohol before I put down the silicone cock to join the existing silicone cock. Cock. Boy, I hope this doesn't get flagged by YouTube. According to the manual, the screw holes, the, the screws I have to remove are about three and a quarter inches. So I'm using my little T-square here, set for three and a quarter. And I will mark with a giant mark. I will mark with my giant marker approximately where that is. There's four of these I will have to cut out. I'm just going to show this first one. So now that I've got that marked, as you can see, I think, ta-da, I will have to cut the space for the feet. This is the foot, and the little hole there is where the center line on my black mark is. I'll make a new black mark on each edge, and that's where I have to cut the existing silicon away. doesn't have to be exact, silicon's cheap. Take my Stanley knife, and I'm going to cut the cock just on the hard plastic top part of this. I'm not going all the way down to the roof. Just got to cut off. So now that I've got it cut, it just peels up. And you'll see the screw underneath, which is really what we're trying to access here. I'll have to cut this to make it flush -er than it is because I want the feet to sit flat as possible. Because this is a fiberglass roof, Tiffin uses uh, self oiling silicone cock for this. And uh, everybody talks about self oiling silicone cock not sticking to itself. However, this stuff sticks just fine to itself as long as you clean it. Okay, now is my hole big enough? It appears to be, because that's the screw head right there, and we still have a little gap. And I've marked the other places I need to cut. Right there, right there. So I'm ready to cut all my openings. I'm not going to show you cutting all these, because it all goes the same as this one did. The next step is to remove the quarter-inch screws. I'm going to use a small tool for this, and I am going to push really hard because there's still so much rubber on the screw that I don't want the head to strip out. These are really small screws. I am shocked this is what they used. When you see what we're replacing them with, You'll probably see why I'm shocked. Is I'm replacing it with a much bigger screw that came in the kit. However, these are kind of glued down, so really and truly, I don't think it matters much. I doubt they would come off. All right, with these out, my next step is going to be getting rubbing alcohol. Uh, I'm going to use. I'm going to use denatured alcohol. And I'm just going to use this with a paper towel and I'm going to wipe down everywhere I'm going to put silicone. So I'm going to wipe down all of these areas all the way around here that I'm going to flow silicone into. I'm done wiping down and you can see how the color has changed here versus here where I've cleaned. So this is not a step you can skip. It's very important to get the silicone co cock to adhere correctly to the plastic and to the old cock. 
forecock, I am using Hang's self-leveling RV silicone sealant, which is also like new tech 311 or something like that. So the first bit I'm going to do is squirt a little into each of the holes so that any water that gets past my barrier of caulk is hopefully still not going to flow anywhere. And I am using a $20, this gun is a $20 gun from Home Depot. I just recently bought it and it is so much better than the cheap ones. It is so smooth and it almost always completely releases so I don't get a huge glop of stuff, focus, at the end of my thing the end of my cart gun, so very nice tool, worth the 20 bucks. Ready to put the screws in, and I'm replacing the one on the left with the one on the right. It's, it's thicker and longer, and it's a Phillips head. So I just take the screw, hopefully find the hole I have here somewhere, and get it started, and then take my tool, and just like that, I like to do it until I see a little of my silicone come out like that so that I know I've got a good seal between the head of this and the bottom of everything. I may need a little bending to get perfect, but there we go. That's all I'm doing three more times now. So, all four have been installed. They're all good. If any of them were lick, lifting up a little bit, I just take this tool and just push down a little bit to get it nice and flat. And now we're going to go back and caulk all this stuff. Because this is a self-leveling silicone, or self-leveling caulk, it's really easy to use. And yes, I'm adding some back here, because I don't know how well any of the old caulk is adhered now that I've been messing with it. So I want to make sure that I seal up everything. Caulk is cheap, leaks are expensive. Covering the screw up. Covering up all the edges. Covering up anywhere I've cut. Try to get it as smooth as I can. Go back over here, see a little I missed. There we go. This side. I bought the caulk for this project at RV at uh, Camping World. It was $13 a tube, um, which I thought was reasonably fair for an RV product. This is hard to do one-handed, by the way. Just for all of you watching me and going, what a dork I am. I'm not this much of a dork. I mean, I am a dork, but this is just harder. This tube, which is already done, one vent, is almost done. Even though it's self-leveling, it needs a little help, and I use this tool, which is actually a gasket scraper, just to go along and kind of help, and then maybe see where there's some places I might want to go back and hit with a little more because there's a low spot. And I don't want any low spots. I basically want any water to run away from what I've created here. I don't uh, I don't want any leaks. I'm just doing my best to get this stuff all nicely tooled as they call it. And I'll go back and hit a little more silicone in a few spots here. That's it. Okay, we're into the final step here. We are going to attach this back vent, this back screen to this top piece. And I don't know if I can show this very well, but there's a connection up there. It slides through this little channel here and there. And then once you're all done, these little black fuzzy deals go in through the sides to lock it in place at the bottom. So, slide it up. So you click the top in place, and then you just come from the sides and put the plastic deals. Alright, show again maybe how we put this together. 
you see this slides down into those tabs and locks and then up at the top here see my shoe so there you go come back here you see that there's a hole right there that's where this fuzzy plastic is so this all properly assembled and clean little plastic thing stuck in we just set it on those posts and we use the this hole and this hole right here the two inside ones and you won't be able to see any of this because my camera sucks maybe maybe you'll see some of it On and all four sides. So the next step is putting the washer on and then this hairpin. And you can see the hole right there, hopefully. I go through and it's in. This one needs to be turned so you can see the hole. And that's all these are to put on and take off after you do the initial install. Makes them very easy if you have to pull them off for cleaning or anything. And at that point, we're done. And it's all done with the cleanup. Two vents covers replaced, three new covers installed. So I had to replace two vent lids or repair them. This one here and the one back there. And then I put vent lids covers on all three of these. Uh, mostly because in the Florida heat, um, the sun just comes right through those things and it makes it hard to keep the RV cool. All that's left is cleanup. I hope you enjoyed another fine crappy project by Alan. Bye. Here's a free tip. If you have the spider control so you can turn the fan on and off and open and close the vents while you're working on here, you make sure the AC is nice and cool and blow some cold air at yourself while you're working. Uh, being Florida, this is a very helpful tip for me.